Hey, all right guys, check this out. I'm back. This time I'm going to be swapping out the AC compressor and the accumulator slash dryer slash receiver, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's got 10 names on my 06 Ram diesel monster. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and do this quick because I'm on my lunch break from work and uh, <laughs> they're paying me to do this. It's kind of funny as hell, but it's okay. Hopefully I don't have to take apart the truck that bad. Hopefully I can do it from the bottom. Thank God it's a truck and I don't have to jack it up or anything. We'll see. Here it is. As you can see, she sprung a leak. Now these can be easily rebuilt. Um, so I'm going to see if I could uh, either A, take it apart, rebuild it, sell it, or just sell it as is and tell someone they got to rebuild it. I don't know. I bought my unit dirt cheap online. Um, hopefully I don't have to strip it too much. I just noticed that this bolt is missing um, from someone else working on the truck. We'll see. Hopefully I could just crack that, remove that, bust those two nuts, go from here. Oh shit, I do have to take this off. I don't want to take that. We'll see. If I can take this off without stripping the truck, I'll be happy as hell. Guys, back to one-handed mechanic time. Take a half-inch drive ratchet, put it right there on the belt tensioner with two hands. Pull it this way to loosen up the belt, and then with your second hand, remove the belt from the AC. All right, there you go. That literally only took 30 seconds. Next up. Let's go uh, find out what size socket that is. All right, guys, this is a 10 millimeter and it's not gonna fit. So we gotta do this the old way. Right here, two hands so I don't bust my knuckles. Ugh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I was wrong. It's not a 10. That's the actual nut to get the AC off. See that? It's easy to make mistakes even though you know what you're doing. So let me go try a... Let me see if I can figure out what size that is. Man, that would have been a mistake. All right, so it's going to be a 13, which is good. Easier to reach these bolts than those. So I'm going to use two ratchets and see if I could bust this loose. Actually, no, it's coming. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I was able to do that with my body weight. Ah. Yep. Yep. Now let's use the... Use my... Whatever you call these wrenches that I love. Oh, this one won't fit. Damn it. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna pause it, take these two bolts out real quick. Yeah, it took like a minute. So the bolts hit. So I'm gonna leave them in when I drop the AC. And when I install the new one, I'm gonna put the bolts in first and then lift the AC into place. That's the strategy. Next up, come back here, disconnect the uh, AC clip with two hands. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. And then take a 10 millimeter socket right here and remove the AC line. That's important. All right, so I went ahead and detached the clip from the AC. I loosened up the AC line with the 10 millimeter bolt. Pull this out. See that? Comes out super easy. I'm gonna use a rag and clean that up after I get the AC off, because that looks disgusting. All right, put these bolts in a safe place. Now to uh, feel for it. Reach up. Yeah, I can feel that. This is gonna be two hands for the other two bolts that hold the AC unit in. So just put the phone down, put the camera down, 
two hands, go up in here, and break these two out. It's going to be fun. Well, I was able to put a 13 millimeter 3 8 socket on there and loosen it up. So go ahead and do that. Then feel with your hands to the other side and do that too. Check the top two bolts out with my hands. Here they are. The AC is literally just resting here on these two bolts. So I'm going to need two hands because this thing's got some weight to it. I'm going to use two hands and remove it. As I'm being an idiot, it's just weight keeping it on there. With one hand. Yeah, two hands. Here we go. So I want you guys to get some kind of action. So here we go. Unbolted it with two hands, lowering it. Probably the only time you'll ever see me. There it is. Out. Take a rag. Clean up in here while you're here. Clean this line up. These seals look toast. Go ahead and replace them. All right. Man, this AC still works. But you know what I don't understand? <laughs> it's rolling good. I don't understand why the clutch. See? Clutch spinning independently of the AC. Here's the AC pulley. Here's the clutch. Spins freely. I don't get it. And a brand new unit doesn't do that. And I know shit just took a video talking for like a minute and it wasn't even recording. Anyway, I don't understand why on the old AC unit this one still works. It just has a leak. Like this thing needs to be refilled on Freon like once every two weeks. Here's the clutch. I could spin the clutch with my hand separately of the AC fully. See, AC pulley, clutch. The new units don't do that. Here, I'll show you. Gonna... Alright, see? There's the new unit, brand new. There's the old unit. See, the clutch spins freely. Here on this one, the clutch does not spin freely. You can barely move it. I you know this needs to be rebuilt it's just worn out all right so let's get this done quick because you know i don't know my boss is trying to remove that well i'm gonna install it first then i'll remove that so here we go. put these two bolts in on the bottom Ryan, the one-handed, there you go, two hands, lift it in there, and while you're holding it in there, hand tighten the bottom bolt to hold the AC in. All right, there you guys go. Two hands. One hand to lift it and balance it, the second hand to hand tighten those bolts. Now we're going to feel for it and put the top bolts in, hand tighten Yeah, feeling for it. Boom, I found the hole. Yeah. Yep. Boom, found the hole. Hand tighten. All right, let's get the second one in. Third one, fourth one, whatever you want to call it. One handed. Boom. On the hole, it's already in. See that? And tighten. I wonder if you guys can see that. See that? I can't see that. All right, now I'm gonna put the ratchet back on there. Tighten these two down. Man, good investment. I've had these wrenches for like over 10 years. I bought them like 10 or 15 years. Bought them when they first came out. I recommend you guys. Buy these wrenches. 
whatever they're called. I forgot their name. Size 13. Starting to not reach because of that. Meaning it's starting to hit. Yeah, I'm going to do this with two hands. Alright, there we go. Two hands, got it in. Got the top bolt snug. Then I do all the other bolts and snug them up. So the AC was shipped with Freon in it. But it's all gonna leak out. Hear it leaking out? Amazing how they shipped it with Freon. So you use your 10 millimeter socket, remove that cap, this cap. Yeah, that's amazing how they shipped it with that. All right, so now put the AC line back on, hand tighten this with the 10 millimeter bolt, grab your wrench, tighten the line up on your wrench. Just snug it. I say grab a torque wrench and Google it and figure out the right torque, but who cares? Snug it. just has to seal and that's good all right two hands and connect the uh, AC thingy there you go brand new AC compressor installed now what I'm gonna do is uh, my belt came off the alternator so I'm gonna get up there put the belt on the alternator use two hands with my ratchet, I need to get my ratchet and put the belt back on. And then from here, you could go ahead and have it serviced. Yeah, it's recording. You can go ahead and have it serviced, vacuum all the moisture out and fill it. But I highly recommend you change the accumulator slash dryer slash receiver. They call it all those different things. I'll explain why after I put my belt on. Man, what a workout. All right, guys, here we go. My belt is on. It's on properly. Can you see that? Ah, you can't see that. Anyway, my belt is on properly. Now to go talk about the dryer. That whole thing literally took 15 minutes. Probably 20 minutes because I have to pause the damn camera, refocus the camera, and all kinds of shit. Record video for you guys, so you better appreciate this. 15 minutes tops. Remove it, put it in. All right, guys. Next, I'm going to remove and install that, the receiver dryer. Shit, I'm getting old. <laughs> Swapping in AC is me, making me out of breath. Okay, so the receiver dryer, accumulator, whatever. This part is $25 to $26, $20, something like that. I swear to drop a link to my own store. Yeah, I'm creating a store, trying to make some money. You guys, buy some stuff from me. Auto parts and junk. Anyway. This thing has balls. <laughs> this. It's got balls. And this is where the low pressure side is. See that? Low pressure port. <sighs> Why it's important is because these balls absorb moisture. Every time you re-vac, you wait. Re-evacuate. Evacuate. Every time you evacuate the air out of your system, and you go to recharge it, you're supposed to change this thing. So that means if you take your car in for AC service once every two years to be refilled, evacuated or refilled, you're supposed to change that. They don't tell you that shit at the shops. I've never had a mechanic tell me that. Then again, I've never 
taking my vehicle to a mechanic in 20 years, uh, any of my vehicles. But yeah, I every time I talk to my friends and family that go to mechanic shops, for, I'm right here, but they still go to a shop. Who fucking knows why? Um, they never swap this out. I've checked their receipts. I don't know why. According to science, according to the manufacturers, the balls that are within this that absorb absorb moisture during the process of the freon being converted from a liquid to a gas gets absorbed in these balls and they wear out very quickly. Every time you have your AC uh, evacuated, recharged, swap this fucker out. It's just 20, 25 bucks and it helps. All cars have this. Some cars it's called a dryer, some cars it's called a receiver. On the Dodge, on my 3500, my 06 3500, it's called a accumulator. Cheap part to swap. Swap it now. Trust me, better AC. On my Chevy car, it's uh, part of the radiator, which is a bitch to get to. It sucks, but it's okay. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove the old one and install this new one. Look forward. This is what it is. Comes with new uh, O rings. Qualified professional. <laughs> Who's a qualified pro? <laughs> All right, so this should be pretty easy. Pop these caps off, remove the old one, put the, the new one in, bolt it in. Let's go see what happens. Yeah, I got it off. <laughs> You're supposed to go to the store and buy this tool that looks like a circle and it wraps around the line. And as you pull up on the line towards this, pull up towards this, it releases that spring. And then you use two hands and pull the thing out. I didn't have that tool. So I used my drum line, I cut the fucker off. Don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> you could, A, eh, cut the fucker off or go buy the tool. It took me 20 minutes. Cut the lines, yank the bitch out, and it worked. I cut into the spring to loosen it, and I just yanked it out. The tool's supposed to wrap around here like a circle, and then you pull on the tool this way while yanking it, and it releases the spring. On this one, I just cut it off completely, and then yanked it out. Don't care because I have a brand new unit. All right, so... Easy way to install this is to uh, loosen these up. These are 10 millimeter bolts. Slide it in. Here, I'll show you. So there, out. So I'm gonna put this in, slide in that one first, shove it all the way in until it clicks. Then I'll put it on the bracket, then I'll connect the second line. All right, so it actually snaps in really easy. Shoved it in there. Got the two bolts lined up. I'm gonna bolt them down and then I'll do the last line. All right, now that I got it bolted in, right there, I'm gonna shove the last line in. There we go, last line is in. I'm gonna put these clips back on. It's real easy, they just go just like that. One, two, Done. Now I can fill this up and recharge, vacuum and recharge the system. Yep. Boom. Oh my God. I just shot the entire video, <laughs> not recording again. Ugh, I'm getting old. So anyway, that's how you swap the AC system on 063500. I can't believe I cut the dryer accumulator off, but it's mine. Who gives a shit? I installed a new one. It came out great installing it. Use the right tools if you're working on other people's cars. You know, it probably only took 15 minutes total to drop the AC compressor, remove the belt. Install the new AC compressor, bolt it in, bolt everything up, connect it, put the belt back on the, the system. And it took me another 20 minutes to cut the old dryer off. If I had the right 
plastic clip that would pop out this frame, I'm sure I could have removed the dryer within three or four minutes for a total of like 20 to 30 minute job to replace both of those. But, you know, 15 to 20 minutes to do the AC compressor while filming, another 20 minutes to cut it off with my Dremel and yank it out because I chose that. Anyway, I made another video on how to properly vacuum your system and then recharge the AC. So I'm not going to show you here on my truck with the Chevy. Go look at my channel, look at my other videos and, and look at it. It shows you how to vacuum the system, check it for leaks, and then properly refill it. I'm going to do that right now on my truck while I clean up. Nice having you guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Yeah, you know, I, I do a lot of web dev outside of here. It's how I make my money. If you guys need a website, let me know. I'll give you dirt cheap price, I promise, on a monthly subscription. Yeah, but it's worth it though, you know, instead of paying thousands for a website, a monthly subscription. All right, guys, plus check out the jewelry that my girl shares. I'll drop a link below. Plus, I'm going to show you guys a new website that I launched selling auto parts, hopefully giving you guys deals, like dirt cheap deals. We'll see. I'm trying to get approved by uh, Dorman to become a redistributor if I can, or reseller of their products. That'll be great. Give me better, cheaper prices than anyone else. Anyway, like, subscribe, share. Check out my firearm channel, channel that I just started, Black Armory. Love it. Love firearms. All right, bye, guys.